Jan, it's Friday the 13th, but for you it must be one of the best days as a captain. Yeah, for Austria it's not a good day, uh, Friday the 13th, of course, and this morning already with uh, Andreas uh, being yeah. ill and having fever and not uh, be able to play, that's a pity of course, it's a shame, because that could have been a very interesting match also, yeah. but for us it was nice, because then with Hase, yeah, he's the better player, so I thought, okay, I'm a little bit more relaxed uh, sitting on the bench with that match, and uh, now yeah, you saw the match, uh, it was clear that Robin was going to win, which is nice with the one zero uh, in front. It is a little bit more relaxing, of course, for Timo to play then. Eh? The pressure is on Jurgen. But uh, yeah, what a fantastic match I saw from both players. The quality of the match was fantastic, and um, yeah, Timo I thought was just a little tougher at the end. He he, uh, he stayed in the match, was two sets uh, to one down, and I thought okay, the fourth set it's going to be really important. And then suddenly the game where Jurgen hit two double faults and Timo broke him, and that that changed the whole match. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's for us it's nice. So the illness of Heidemar definitely helped ne helped Nathal Dylan helped the Netherlands uh, in the second match too, or for the second match. No, yeah, Gotta stay, right? You never know, but it's, it's, it's of course uh, a different opponent, Heidemar. He played well the last, uh, <coughs> last couple of months, he won, uh, won a tournament last week, and, and, and all he hasn't played singles a lot of course. So yeah. That, yeah, that's a different quality that, uh, that you have as an opponent. Yeah. How safe do you feel now after the two love lead of the first day? Oh yeah, we still need one more point. There's no celebration. We need yeah. one more point. And uh, I've been in so many Davis Cup ties as a player, but also as a captain. Uh, I know that anything can happen in Davis Cup, so we'll be prepared for tomorrow. And we have to play our best tennis, of course, to make uh, the third point. And if it's not possible tomorrow, then on Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's still one more to go. Yeah. Whom do you expect in doubles uh, for the Austrian team? Well, normally I would expect uh, Meltzer and Noel. And, um, yeah, you have to see how Jurgen is tomorrow, I think. And, uh, but yeah, that's you know that's not my problem. <laughs> yeah, um, but for you, is there any need uh, any need to change something within your team for the doubles? Um, no, yeah, we're gonna play with our best doubles team. Which will be? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Um, um, what uh, does the what would the uh, what it mean what would it mean for you and the Netherlands uh, to get into the World Group? Yeah, we've been fighting for that spot for the World Group for uh, for a lot of years now. Um, this year, I have the feeling that at least we have some players now in the top hundred, so that at least you have a chance to be in the World Group. Before that, uh, it was not um, a reality. You know, you're always fighting for it, but you have to be realistic also. Uh, this year I think we have a chance, we have some good players and uh, yeah, when they can play the level like Timo did today, yeah, then I think we, uh, we have a chance to be in the World Group. Which would mean a lot, I guess, for you. Yeah, it's, it's important, it's important for Dutch tennis, it's the same for yeah. Austrian tennis of course, because you want to be with the top uh, countries playing top tennis and playing for your country. Because um, if, you if you're in the group below that, then you might lose the... Um, uh, you might lose the feeling how it is to be with the world-class tennis players, and you don't want that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jan. Okay.